Today I'm going to set up Open Media Vault so that I can use a USB drive to expand the storage in my home lab. If you're interested in seeing how I do this, come check it out. Okay, so since the small box that I installed Proxmox on doesn't have space for a full-size hard drive in it, I'm going to use an external USB drive that I just happen to have kicking around. Uh, it's got 8 terabytes, so it should be more than enough storage for my little lab. And since this is a USB drive, it's not going to be too fast, so it might be a bit of a bottleneck if I've got multiple applications trying to write to it at the same time. Luckily, I only have a few users in my lab, typically would only have one user at a time, so I'm hoping that this won't be a huge bottleneck. If it does become a problem, I'll have to revisit this in the future, but for now, this is what I'm using. So first I'm going to have to log in to Proxmox. I'm going to use the root user this time because uh, I need to have the permissions available to it to pass through the USB device. So I will sign in and I will copy that template that I made in my last video, I'll clone it and I'm going to call this one 300 and I'll call it storage. I'll do a full clone. Okay, now that the clone is finished, I need to pass through the USB device to this. And in order to do that, I'm going to go to the Hardware tab, and we'll go Add USB Device. And I'll use it by a device ID, and it should be listed here as Expansion Desk C8. That's the one. And I'll add that to the virtual machine. And on this virtual machine, I'm going to install Open Media Vault. So I'll start it up. And now that it's booted up, I can see the IP address here, and I will SSH into it and finish setting up Open Media Vault. So I'm SSH'd into that virtual machine I just created. And all I'm going to do to install Open Media Vault is copy and paste the directions from their website. I'll leave the link in the description for uh, where I'm grabbing these commands. But before I can do any of those, I'm going to have to enable uh, shell access for the root user. I disabled that in my template. And if I try to use the root user now, you'll see this account is currently not available. So I'm going to have to edit the uh, Etsy passwd file and I'm going to give the root user access to bash just like that. So now I can use the root user and from here I'm just going to copy and paste commands to install Open Media Vault.
Alright, so after installing Open Media Vault on the VM, I realized I should have created a static IP address for me to use it from. So I went and I did that before rebooting the system, and then I opened up a browser and went to the new IP that I set. Um, now we're ready to set up the storage on this. So I will sign in as admin and the password is Open Media Vault. And now you should change that password. Okay, so now that I've got a new password, we're ready to set up the storage. And if we go to the storage tab here and look at disks, we should see that expansion disk right there that I've added as a USB drive. Um, to get it ready, I'm gonna wipe this disk. Because I don't know what's on it right now. And I'll just do a quick wipe. That didn't take long at all. And in order to use it, you have to put a file system on here. So we're going to go to File Systems, Create and Mount a New File System. I'm just going to use EXT4. Select the disk. And click Save. This is going to take a bit, so I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so that took just under 35 minutes, but the file system's been created. And now, uh, we can mount that system. And then you have to apply. So now I can use that USB storage device for all my home lab needs. I'm planning on using it for NFS shares on the virtual machines that I create. Uh, you'll be able to see that in future videos, but for now, this is kind of how I'm going to leave it. Thanks for watching.